Cal TV, and we are here with the band The Devil Makes Three. How are you guys? Good. Good. Happy to be here. First of all, uh, how would you guys describe your music? Ah, uh, least uh, favorite question ever. <laughs> <laughs> we usually go like this. Uh, it's the best music you've ever heard. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff mixed together. Yeah. Actually, right, what was, no, my favorite thing is, and this only works if you actually know who the Pokes are, but we've sort of done to American music what the Pokes did to Irish music. That's yeah, awesome. that's a good description. That's awesome. Yeah, she's, uh, it doesn't, it only works if you know who the Pokes are. But if yeah. you don't know who the Pokes are, go find out who the Pokes are. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, so a lot of a lot of your songs have some darker undertones to it, like themes of just alcoholism, troublemaking, and mortality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where where do you guys get your inspiration from? I Life. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's no, no, yeah, like it's some sort of classic themes, you know, of uh, writing. I think and. Like songwriting, a certain style of songwriting. Um, it also just makes for good storytelling, you know. Um, yeah, I think those are good themes to write a good story to, you know. And they're also themes everyone can understand, so. so um, yeah, I'd say that one is where <laughs> it comes from. A lot of them are from personal experience, some of them are from people we've known, some of them are completely made up. Okay. Um, Everywhere. I guess we get inspiration from everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 if you think about the subject matter and just sort of look around at people you know and stuff that happens, you probably draw several parallels. <laughs> so, your music also emphasizes kind of the live performance aspect of it. So, what's like, I, I think you use um, some live songs on your albums. What's your favorite part of performing live? Hmm. Uh, I guess. My favorite part is just the crowd, you know, being really, like, into the music and it just being, like, sort of a group experience with the band and the crowd, you know, together. Not, not so much for, like, a performance where we're playing and people are getting entertained, but more like we're all having a good time, you know, sort of, like, as a group. Kind of hard to describe. I think it's weird. Some shows you don't really get that. Some shows you do. People dancing and like having fun, so that it's more of like a yeah. It's less of a performance and more of like a party. It's a group effort. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For me, at least, there's sort of this thing that happens. You know, we go out, we start playing, and people start getting excited, and I sort of feed off their energy and start getting more excited, and then they start getting more excited, and it's just sort of this like big woo woo. <laughs> Your music has a lot of rhythm to it, but you guys don't have a drummer. And as a drummer, <laughs> I was wondering why, why you chose not to have a percussionist. I'm uh, a percussionist. We, we had one. We actually had a drummer yeah. um, when we first started, but he got uh, married and had a baby and so couldn't really be in the band. Well, he <laughs> kicked himself out. out. <laughs> I mean, if you're in a band and you get married and you have a kid and you have a full-time job, you know, you yeah. keep yourself out. Um, he knew he was going to have to leave. So we didn't really have to kick them out, you know, it was kind of... But then you never replaced him. That's no, awesome. well, we found that we started playing shows afterwards without him, and like, you know, it didn't really matter. Um, <laughs> I like have a very was... percussive bassist, and yeah, I did a lot and of slapping, and just... people kept dancing, so it was sort of like, <laughs> well, why lug around a big drum set, you know? We've already got a huge bass, how many big instruments do we need? <laughs> and in the style of music, you know, it's sort of like there is kind of like a beat within the rhythm of the rhythm guitar and the bass back and forth, and then with slapping as well, and like, you know, swing jazz and stuff like that, and then we have drums for the most part, it's like, don't really need it to dance. Drumming is great, I mean, it's just that we found that we didn't have to take a drummer, and, you know, if we could get away with it, three people and people would dance, you know, and why not? Yeah. When I first heard you guys, I actually didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that. Yeah, a lot of people think we have one. You can sometimes sort of hear it even though it's not really there. Right. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. So, your music has been described as a lot of things, just like blues, country, folk, rag, time, punk, just everything. So why do you think it reaches across so many genres and so many different kinds of people like it? I think because that's where it comes from, you know, we grew up from all the music we grew up listening to and all the music that we like. And, uh, 
think it really stretches across, you know, there's a lot of blues influence, there's a lot of country influence, definitely ragtime, jazz, uh, punk music, heavy metal, you know, and it's all, it all sort of groups in, you know, um, you maybe think, it, what happens to me often is I'll come up with a part of the practice and be like, that's a totally metal part, and uh, I'll come back and listen to it a while later, and it's not at all the way I imagined it, but that's sort of where it comes from, so I guess maybe some of that comes across. Okay, that's that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I have. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely.